welcome guys to a new video and this video is going to be more of an update video so we're actually first of all gonna mount the air tank in the back seat so we made a holder and fiberglass you saw that a couple of videos back now we're actually gonna add some bondo sand it down make it perfect add it to the back seat and see how the tank looks but we also got a lot of other updates coming up in this video and the tank we have here and then you know the, the center console that we actually made with fiberglass and resin is actually hardened and finished and we're actually gonna apply some bondo sanding bondo sanding and I don't think you want to see that so we're gonna make the magic YouTube thing one two three so here we actually got the holder for the tank that's going to be placed in between in the middle of the back seat. So let's actually mount it into the car. Let's go. Oh wait. So a uh, couple of videos back as I said we made a bracket for the tank. Uh, we can call it a holder and then we did a beauty piece over this. So that's actually just going to be mounted like this and it clicks in and now I can actually just put the air tank on there and of course this the thought of this beauty panel is that it's going to be with the same upholstery as the back seat or the interior of the car. But I'm going to pick up the uh, air tank and see how it looks and I actually really like the results already. Let's get this bad boy in and see how it looks. And the thought is like that. It fits like a glove. I actually like the results of this. I don't want the tank to actually be too visible in the car. Uh, and we're gonna make some nice mounts from underneath. Uh, the hoses or the hard lines are gonna go from these ends. And actually down here and the evacuation of course is going to be underneath and now we're actually to another package that I've been waiting for for over two months let's get on the back of the car so we actually got a package in yesterday and as I said I've been waiting for over two months and it's something special for the back of the G and I can't wait to actually see this this is a little duck tail for the Jeep and hopefully it's good quality I'm gonna put the link in the description below it's actually from Amazon so hopefully the quality is good enough it said uh, carbon style so we're gonna see if it even looks close to car carbon fiber and it doesn't even look close to carbon fiber what is this but I would say the quality is really good. It's really rigid. It looks good, but the carbon fiber, look at that. That's not even close to being carbon fiber. But hey, I wanna see if this actually fits to the car or if we have to heat it up. It's actually just to get it to fit the car. I guess it's fiberglass and that could be a hard fit. Okay, moment of truth and <laughs> see if it actually fits or if it's bad fitment. Let's see. And there is the camera. And damn, I'm actually surprised. It actually fits quite good. It actually holds on to the car itself. I would say if you'd come closer, I would actually say this is quite good fitment. No big gaps, nothing else that actually points out. But I actually got one surprise more. This ducktail I've seen on hundreds of cars in the US. And of course, I'm gonna do a little touch of Magas design. So, I actually don't like how it ends here. So we're actually gonna cut this up, prolong it, make it a bit smoother. And later on, I actually got a big surprise for you. So this is gonna be seamless, but with a touch of Maya's design. 
So just wait and see. I don't think you want to see me weld anymore, but this came out really sick. So we're going to do it again, the YouTube trick. But I think this looks pretty nice already. The cover, I actually don't have any cables under there, but I actually think it hides a little bit of the fuel rail. That's not that pretty. And then we're going to do some awesome cover plates up here. So it's going to combine really good. But now we should do the YouTube trick again. So transition to... As I said, this is an update video and we actually found the problem with the car, why it's not starting and some strange thing actually happened and that is that it's the PCM, so the power control module uh, that actually fires up or does all the connections in the car uh, is fried. We actually found some codes saying that the CAN signal is malfunctioning in the car. I tried to actually find a lot of information of it and we actually tested the, uh, the PCM and we got no signal out from the CAN. So I actually ordered a new PCM from the US and the PCM is actually in Poland right now. We're gonna get it in hopefully one week. You know COVID and deliveries, it's not easy in the world, but cross my fingers that it's only the PCM that's malfunctioning, that it's nothing else and we can actually fire this thing up and actually hear the new exhaust system and everything that we actually added with the GTR manifold and everything. So if you don't know what I'm speaking of now, go back. We actually mounted a GTR manifold on this G37. We actually did a Meisterschaft titanium um, exhaust system on the car. But guys, I actually think that's enough for today. I know this was short and I know I actually talked way too much in this video but next week we're gonna show you full surprises if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel we're almost hitting 400 subscribers i know it doesn't sound much for you but for me it's actually huge i've been just doing this for i think it's eight months now and you guys help me reach 400 subscribers as i always say have a good morning good evening or good night wherever you are Peace.